Lonely Hearts Cafe. Spicy conversations. It's Vince Wright, the sports governor from Minnesota. Man, Jelly Young. Microwave. Reggie Long, aka Dollars and Cents. To your Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bbmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bbmobileapps.com, and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. Doug Stewart here to tell you about my man Smooth at smoothtickets.com. Smooth's got the tickets for everything that you need in the world of sports, concerts, or theater. I don't care what it is. I don't care where it's at in this great land of ours. My man Smooth at smoothtickets.com, he got them tickets. I'm telling you, boxing. Baseball, NBA, NFL, country music concerts, hard rock, hip-hop, theater, Broadway. He's got them all. And if he don't have them, there ain't none. I'm telling you, smoothtickets.com. Once again, that's smoothtickets.com. Or give him a call at 404-374-1150. Once again, that's 404-374-1150. You got to tell him, though, that I sent you. You got to tell them that Doug Stewart sent you. Once again, smoothtickets.com. That's smoothtickets.com. Yeah! National Debt Relief is one of the country's largest and most reputable debt settlement companies. Made up of energetic individuals who are passionate about helping thousands of Americans with debt relief. Most importantly, we're all about helping our customers through a tough financial time in their lives with education and individual customer service. We're dedicated to helping individuals and families rid their lives of burdensome debt. Specializing in debt settlement, and they've also negotiated settlements for thousands of creditor and collection accounts. Providing clients with both expertise and proven results, this means helping customers in time of hardship to get out of debt with the least possible cost. It can also mean conducting financial consultations, educating the customer, and recommending the appropriate solution. Core Services offer debt settlement as an alternative, I repeat, alternative to bankruptcy, credit counseling, and debt consolidation. National Debt Relief is your number one advocate group to help you reestablish financial stability as quickly as possible. So give us a call at 844-828-4975. Again, that's 844-828-4975 and work it out. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Man Talk Monday, June 13th, 2016. And oh boy, um, thank you so much for joining you folks, man. I really do appreciate it. The number to the show is 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. Uh, Draymond Green is suspended for game five of the NBA Finals. Once again, I don't know why y'all booing. <laughs> what did you expect? So he's been suspended for game five of the NBA Finals. Him and LeBron kind of got tangled up. You know the story. Him and LeBron kind of got tangled up. Draymond was on the floor. LeBron stepped over him. Uh, a lot of people are saying it was disrespectful, uh, kind of akin to, you know, Allen Iverson and, and Teron Liu. Now, I, I look at this from a bunch of different angles. You see the title of today's show, should have got two games, if you ask me. Um, so, so right off the top, you know that I'm on board for Draymond Green getting suspended. And I mean, for obvious reasons, he is 
He is the literal sense. He is the poster boy for uh, a habitual line stepper. He is. And so LeBron stepped over him, which which I do think LeBron was was doing on purpose, trying to get under his skin or whatever. And it probably was technically disrespectful. And I probably would have done pretty much the same thing. But Draymond Green jumps up all haphazardly and flicks his arm forward. And magically, his fist finds LeBron's testicles. What is the matter with this ninja? What is the matter with this man? What's his infatuation with other dudes' testicles? So he had to go. Early in the postseason, dude was assessed a flagrant two and fined 25K for kicking Oklahoma City Thunder Stephen Adams between his legs. He received a flagrant for throwing down Houston Rockets Michael Beasley in the first round. He also kicked another dude. I can't remember who it was, who he Exactly who it was. But he kicked another dude damn there in the face. And so he'd been warned. He got these flagrants. He knew he couldn't get in anything. And, yeah, maybe LeBron did go to him into to doing what he did. But you got to be smarter. And to be honest with you, man, it's kind of like that karma thing. You know, it's kind of like that karma thing uh, uh, where it just caught up to him. Okay, let's be honest about it. Should have been suspended after the Steven Adams thing. The NBA let him stay in. And this pretty much to me was was kind of like one of those makeup calls. Uh, once again, karma. So I don't have a problem with it at all. Uh, was it cheap? You know? Uh, or could you look at it and say it wasn't no big thing? It wasn't that big of a deal for the NBA to suspend him? I get it. I totally get it. But don't forget this man's recent history of hitting dudes and they family jewels. So, yeah, there, there were two man laws broken, and I guess they're, they're kind of like, you know, unwritten rules. These unwritten rules we always talk about, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. And in basketball, and I've heard Charles Barkley talk about it, and a lot of NBA players talk about it, stepping over a cat like that while he's on the floor is disrespectful. And I get it. I get it. You don't want a dude standing over you, and your view up is his man region. I totally get it. So it's a man law. You don't do that. That's that's a sign of disrespect. I get it. So, uh, you know, Draymond jumps up and does what he does. But it's also disrespectful to keep hitting cats, uh, once again, in their family jewels. And so I don't have a problem with it at all. What are your thoughts? 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. Let's go back to game four for a second, man. And I talked about it, you know, before game four, before we went out on Thursday, uh, because the last show I did was Thursday, and how – you know, I thought that the Cleveland Cavaliers had figured out Steph Curry. and But I also said, man, it wouldn't shock me if this ninja went for 40. And damn if he didn't. The man went for 38 points in game four. <laughs> the man went for game went for, for 38 points in game four. Uh, just unbelievable, man. Really, really a bad look for LeBron in that fourth quarter. Obviously, mostly, I mean, everybody saw the damn game. Um the, the mistakes and the things that LeBron is doing, not being aggressive in the fourth quarter, not trying to get to the basket, not really getting to the free throw line, the things that he's doing, not incorporating his teammates, they can't make shots in the fourth quarter. LeBron really was scared to shoot, if you ask me, in the fourth quarter of game four as well. These things aren't supposed to happen to a guy that, and I've said this before as well, a guy that has endless, endless, you know, uh, experience in the playoffs in different scenarios and different defenses and in the momentum of the game. He should figure out that, in, uh, you know, when they have a low, he has to be more aggressive, man. And he just he's just not doing it, man. It, it, it's almost kind of like he's not using all the lessons that he's been, you know, taught throughout his basketball life just in the NBA, not high school or middle school or anything like that that you add on to it. I'm talking about this man has been to the finals seven times. And imagine all of the playoff series he's been to, man. And it just doesn't look like he's employing that knowledge that he should have gained, man. And, and just, you know, realizing the situation that they're in. And it's very disheartening. It's very disappointing, man. It is. It's almost like the Golden State Warriors got his heart, man. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, listen, I'm on the record. I wanted 
Cleveland to win this series. I picked Golden State in seven. Let's get the record straight. I heard one of y'all said that the other day that I didn't pick Golden State. No, I did pick Golden State in seven. Um, but I wanted to be wrong. I wanted to be wrong. I want the Cleveland Cavaliers to win this series. My gosh, this is so perfect. This is so perfect. You know, they don't got Draymond Green, their floor leader, their inspirational leader. They don't got him going back to, to Oracle tonight. Can they steal a win in Golden State? Steal one. Get it back to Cleveland. Tie the series in Cleveland. And then all bets are off in Game 7, man. I hope that happens. But I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it, man. Um, but we'll see, man. I mean, LeBron is supposedly one of the best players to ever play the game. Maybe tonight he rises up, man. Maybe in Game 6 he rises up if they get to a Game 6. Maybe... Maybe he can he can do something, man, but it just doesn't look right. It just looks like Golden State has too many horses. They may figure them out for a minute, man, but these these ninjas, Clay and, and Steph, man, they just – the shooting is just unbelievable. The shooting is just unbelievable. So we'll see what happens tonight, man. I want to see a competitive series. If LeBron loses this series five games to one, do you know how the media and y'all ninjas are going to kill us, man? And you know what? Maybe deservingly so. Maybe deservingly so. Um, we'll see, man. Let me read some of your messages in the chat room on Spreaker.com. From J. Rob, he says, hell, LeBron couldn't do anything because Kyrie had the ball or was shooting. Let's stop right there. What did Kyrie have? Kyrie had 34? And I listen, I, I know Kyrie... <laughs> I know Kyrie could probably put be put in the category of ball hog. I do understand that. He's a volume shooter. You know, really, he's a better scorer. When you talk about the term scorer, he's a better scorer than LeBron. But even I'm starting to agree with y'all because I've been a big Kyrie fan over the, the entire season, ever since he's been in the NBA. Uh, even I tend to agree with my man, J-Rob. Kyrie is just a black hole, man. They gave that stat where when he gets the ball, he doesn't pass. He gets the ball, and no one else sees the ball, and he takes a shot from the time he gets it till the time a shot is put up. It's all him. So I, I get it, man, but the man gave you 34 points. It wasn't an ugly 34 points. LeBron damn near had a triple-double. I think he came one or two uh, rebounds or assists away from a triple-double, but it's just an ugly almost triple-double. <laughs> It just is, man. It just is, man. It's just a bad, bad look for these cats right now, man. And it's, I don't, I don't know, man. I just, I just want to see them take this thing to the next game, uh, with Draymond or not, man. I know a lot of people saying we had this same conversation a couple of weeks ago when Draymond was about to get suspended. You know, we want to beat. You know, we want to beat uh, the Cleveland Cavalier fans. We want to beat Golden State with all their horses. Man, damn that. It's an advantage. They don't have Draymond Green tonight. That's big. Draymond gives them a lot of things that, that are really intangible as far as leadership and hustle and grit. You know, he gives them a lot. So we'll see how they play without him tonight, man. They could very well get it done. We will see. We definitely going to see, man. Man, please win this game tonight. Please. Don't go out like no suckers. Damn. Hey, when we get back from the break, all I'm going to do is read chat. That's all I'm going to do is read chat. I promise. I might tell you all about the, uh, I played golf Saturday, man, and we, we have a champion, a new champion for the Amici Cup. I'll explain it to you when we get back from the break. And we're going to reach out, I promise. That's all we're going to do. we got to get into some NBA uh, or NFL news and notes a little bit later. Um, we'll take your phone calls, 404-382-0338. So don't go away, man. A lot to come. Entertainment, birthdays. Don't go away. This is the Doug Stewart Show. Hey, what's up, Stu Nation? This is your boy, Reggie Lawrence, a.k.a. Dollars and Cents, one half of the Sports and More Show. 
And I'm the other half, Vince Wright, all the way from Minnesota, the sports governor. And we have our show debuting on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network on Friday at noon Eastern time. The Sports and More Show with Reggie.